congratulations to the Los Angeles Lakers winning the championship of the world in the NBA. As I told you last week, LeBron and all the grief that he received in trying to put together a championship team here in Los Angeles to his liking with Anthony Davis requesting a trade in New Orleans after he signed with LeBron's um, sports agent uh, with Clutch Sports, with his uh, the agency that represents uh, him and a whole bunch of other players, including uh, KCP and Rob Palinka, the general manager of the Lakers, putting together a team that included Anthony Davis and trading a whole bunch of players away. And then that trade, and before that trade happened, got blown up in New Orleans. All of that nonsense that led to a dumpster fire of a first season in which he got hurt. And then the Lakers missed the playoffs for the first time in um in a very long time for 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 this team to make the playoffs finally they had not uh, made it in a white quite some time lebron was supposed to end that streak he didn't in his first year here as i told you uh last week when i thought that they were going to win uh game five which they did not and the crazy thing is here we are celebrating lebron in the championship los angeles lakers today and this is how crazy things go uh in the sports world and how things change so quickly Friday night, LeBron James was being lit up by many in the Twitterverse and the many in the social media verse, and some here in Los Angeles even, for not doing what Kobe did and what Michael Jordan did, forgetting that he passed to Kerr and Paxson for a couple of championships, that he passed up the big shot to Danny Green, who for some reason got death threats sent to him and his fiance. Because he missed a wide open shot. Let's not forget that was Friday all the way up until yesterday, (laughs) second quarter, when despite Goran Dragic trying to drag his injured foot onto the court, the Lakers essentially ended everything in the second quarter last night. And now we are rightfully talking about LeBron's greatness and nobody at all thinking about how this team got put together anymore, with the exception, I imagine, of LeBron, who took it all in, heard what everybody was saying and how he got Anthony Davis to Los Angeles, and his response, I'm sure, is deep down, deep down. Uh, I don't care what you think, but uh, I think he does care what people think. And we heard it last night um, where he wanted his, if you will, damn respect, so on and so forth. So I say the following. LeBron's greatness, if it needed to be at all, um cemented i don't know how this doesn't get cemented now he did it in miami when it's the super team and then he goes back to cleveland and they cobbled together enough players including Kyrie and kevin love for him to get that one shot come back from three one down against the golden state warriors then he comes to los angeles it was an awful first season and everything gets straightened out in a manner that they could only have dreamed of, minus the pandemic part, obviously. And kudos to the NBA. Big time. They did it. Zero COVID positive tests. Zero. Point zero in the playoffs. Zero. None of them. The bubble stayed hardened. And everybody got what they needed, at least in this country, at least for me. I know everybody's bashing on the ratings because of how politically correct, supposedly, the NBA is being. And to that, I say two things. One, you're not a basketball fan. And two, two, obviously I'm biased, talking here on Peacock, there's streamers. There's different ways to actually view the games. Yeah. Okay? I would also say there's only really like a handful of people bashing on the radio. So long story short is the NBA got it done. We as a country needed it. The NBA got the country focused properly on treating the virus with the seriousness that it deserved in a manner that the federal government didn't when they shut down the NBA and then bubbled up. And the NHL did it, but the NBA came up with their bubble-up plan, enhanced it, and got it done. The Larry O'Brien trophy was handed out last night. The Lakers put their hands on it. And they're bringing it back here to Los Angeles, where so many Lakers fans are thrilled and delighted about it, uh, obviously because they are used to it. And secondly, it's been a while. And thirdly, it's in the year in which 
2020 got off to its dreadful start with the death of Kobe Bryant and his beautiful daughter, Gianna. And the fact that they were able to do it in the name of Kobe, unfortunately for them, Friday night would have been the night to do it in the Mamba jerseys, but uh, Jimmy Butler had uh, another idea, and I tipped the cap to the Heat. The Nuggets were a delight to watch. What a run that they went on. The uh, Blazers in the regular season portion of the bubble got us all going, and the Heat have a huge future ahead of them. And just real quick, one more time, don't even touch the team. Don't even twitch in Giannis's direction if I'm the Heat. I really love what they have put together. And I'll, maybe we'll touch upon that over today or tomorrow because there's a lot going on. The 106-93 victory by the Lakers last night, not even remotely as close as oh the score, gosh, would indicate – not even close. And LeBron becomes the first and only player to win three finals MVPs with three different teams. So, congratulations to the Lakers and again to the NBA. I mean, yeah, not what they were able part. to accomplish over the last few months, just remarkable. Lakers and Heat were there for 90 days, and I can only imagine that we're members of the NBA's front office staff that were there for longer, and that had to drive the people there absolutely, totally crazy nuts. Go home, enjoy time with your families and whoever your loved ones are that you've been away from, and be safe because you're not in the bubble anymore on that front. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.